Okay, so I'll be here to tell you how to get the tux item for the TF2 Linux. Okay, so um, if you don't have Ubuntu on a virtual machine, or if you just don't have Ubuntu, I've created a tutorial on how to get Ubuntu on your uh, on your OS. So you can I'll put a link maybe down below or somewhere you can you can get Ubuntu on a virtual machine. So right now I have it on VMware Ubuntu 12.1. Zero. Okay, so first, if you, to get the TF2, uh, to get the TF2 tux, okay, you should first uh, actually, actually, if you're still connected on Ubuntu, okay, click on power off, power off, yep. Okay, this, okay, I'll be telling you how to save some bandwidth this, in this method. So, okay. Make sure you select the one, uh, the Ubuntu you're using. Manage virtual machine settings. Go to options and in shared the folders, always enabled. And then add next. Now look for your Steam. Okay, this is looking for your Steam folder. So if you already have TF2 installed, you don't want to install like 12 gigs again, you can do it this way. So browse to your Steam apps folder. Uh, for most people, it's in C program files, Steam. But right now, I have it in my D drive because I have like no space. So Steam apps. Yep. Finish. Okay. So now you can start it up again. So I have full screen it. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a Firefox web browser. Okay, and then go to what was it? Wiki.ubuntu.com forward slash valve. And this should bring you to this valve page for Ubuntu. So you scroll down all the way to installation. Oh, okay, so they've removed. It. Okay, so okay, so just go to steampowered.com. Click on install Steam. Install Steam. Uh, open file. And click OK. Can you make sure you leave Firefox open with this download window because if you don't this Ubuntu Software Center won't pop up and there's going to be an error. So just give it a second. Okay, so it automatically goes to the Steam page. So click on Install. Okay, type in your password again. So let it install. Start Steam. Read and accept these terms. OK. So Steam start. Now you can close the uh, Ubuntu Software Center and Firefox. OK. While Steam is updating, let's in the meantime, click on the home folder. Go to click this arrow that goes back and click this one which brings you to the main i guess it's like your hard drive okay so go to mnt this is the file system so you can click file system or over here on the left side as well fmt hgfs and this is the shared folder that you can that you did uh prior to running this ubuntu so keep this handy We'll also open a new window. Okay, let's put this over here for now. So Steam needs to install, so just type your password again. You won't see it, so just let it go. Uh, y, enter. So uh, press return, that's just pressing enter.
Uh, Steam should run by itself. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I have a extra account that I'm going to do it on because I've already got the tux on my main account. So it's my temp account. Uh, I think that's the password. So just log in. Oh, shoot. Uh, what's my email? Your access code is that. Next. Okay, yay, it's working. Okay. Now, let's move on with the second step. Okay, so at the top, over the Ubuntu desktop, you can mouse over the top, view, and then check show hidden files. Okay, so I agree to it, and then here it goes. My account, I have like no games on this because I don't have TF2. Uh, oh, I have Counter Strike. Uh, I'm gonna look for Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2. Okay, so it tells you to install 11 gigs, right? So, of course, you don't want to do that. So, actually, maximize this home screen. That you opened from here, home folder, maximize it, view, and then choose the show hidden files. And then now you can see this local folder, open that, open share, open Steam, open Steam apps. Okay, you're gonna need this. Okay, so let's drag this over here again. Okay, so we'll so you can go back to the your shared folder from your original operating system. Okay, so I I brought way more than I needed. So what I will do is I'll I'll start the install for TF2. Make sure I pause it. Oh sh. <coughs> make sure I so Steam's up here actually. So I'll make sure I'll pause it right before it downloads way too much. Preparing it. Okay. So click on that. So pause it. Pause it right away. Oh shoot. Paused. Okay, so minimize. Okay, so you're gonna see a bunch of these files that popped up because it was preparing the files. So all you need to do is go to your main folder, look for the exact same one, delete this delete this one rename oh, copy it copy it over first okay so it'll take some time rename so just change make sure you make all of them capital i've had a problem when i didn't have them capitalized and then oh it just didn't work so you do that and you have this all the capitals okay so now you just do the same thing for the rest of them just transfer from this folder to here and then rename all of them into uppercase all right so after you've moved all the files over um you can go back to your T steam library so right click and then you can finish continue like your, you can unpause your installation so that's what i've already done and i have tf2 here so now let, you can check my profile. Let's, let's see my inventory. Yeah, okay, so you see I only have like a few items. I don't actually use this anymore. So I'll run TF2. Oh, I don't know why this happened. So just let it validate. It's because I don't have a, I actually don't have a user account on this yet. Let's try quick. So you don't need this in it. You don't need this either. So just let Steam validate. Okay. 
Okay, so this happens when your video card drivers aren't updated. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need to care about it unless you actually want to play TF2 on a virtual machine. So let's see. So you can click profile. You can check your inventory. Uh, let's see. Okay, this gets annoying. And there you have it. The tux is in my inventory. Okay, thanks for watching. It's been Radi it's Radiate JS. Uh, good luck with your tucks, and see you later.